watch any situation from the victim's point of view, not from the side of the victimizer. Slave, slave uh, liberationists don't watch the situation from the side of the victimizers, the um, black man and the white man, and the women don't watch the situation from the the civil rights of human of uh, women also don't watch the situation from the position of the man. Uh, no, the so they always watch the situation from the eyes of the victims. The, the slave masters be not the victims. The slaves were the war. They have been the one that been the victim. The humans be not the victims. The victims, they being the animals, the chickens, the turkeys, the piggies, they are being the victims, not humans. Give compassion first to beings that don't have harmed you, and then you can try to have compassion for beings that harmed you, and bring the world upside down and then we have a world with peace we have now a world with war with corruption with liars that want to protect their insane capitalistic system something that you something don't like it's not wrong you don't have to be agree with somebody for 100% of the time to support them But the least that you can do is not alienate if they fight for the same thing that you want. It is possible. To have peace on this world. We have only to kill the beast of capitalism. And then we also destroy the propaganda machine. Media. Hopefully. We can learn to have peace in those worlds. Hopefully, someday we stand up. And watch our world just like it now be. And look back on our past and think what have our ancestors make a horrible, 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 horrible mistake. What been our ancestors such selfish, apathetic narcissistic pranks fools demons and terrorists hopefully someday you understand that evil discrimination that's propaganda and lies Selfishness and all kinds of these things, immorality, all this, be not, be not one good thing.
and that discrimination is evil on this foundation, that murder is evil on this foundation, taking the life of somebody else without his permission, and that rape and uh, the insemination of other living beings without their permission and without their conscious and this kind of things been wrong on this foundation and that it don't make sense to try to justify it on other living beings if there come a group of beings from another planet beings that consider themselves as superior to you want you then to give them the right that you think that you deserve to have on other animals. Awaken you do not to others that you not that you also not want that they do to you. Treat others just like you want to be treated yourself. You don't deserve rights or freedoms or respect if you don't give something back. We live with each other on this planet. You don't have the right to think you be special than others. You been more superior, you be, have not the right to act all of this and take anything away and take anything away only because you can do it people that do that they lie to themselves if they say that they're being rational beings they lie to themselves if they say that they're being moral beings and they lie oh yeah they lie have been blood suckers. They suck the life of the planet. Suck the life of the animals. Suck the life of people that have been less privileged than them. <laughs> Why learn violent rituals to other humans on the planet? Why to learn them the state of corruption? Why learn them the state of bullshit? Bullshit spread by the media and the cult system. Yeah, the cult system actually. What you do at our talk about that? About my spirit conspiracy on this society and their insanity and our evilness. And that we actually live in a giant sect. This first created by rich guys that want to please other richer guys to let them feel more important. That's our society. Oh, you don't like me? Oh, you don't like that I talk the way that I do to you? Even if you're rightful, if it's been justifiable. No, you like not to show you act like a child, a little apathetic child, an apathetic narcissistic child, here child. When darkness and light become one, the true become visible, and the reality splinter away. 